Today on Equipment World, more information on Caterpillar's new 306CR compact excavator. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome in. I am Wayne Grayson, online editor of Equipment World. Today in this video, we're gonna follow up our initial coverage of the 306CR compact excavator, which Caterpillar introduced a few weeks ago, with a little bit more information. So specifically, we were in North Carolina uh, for a big media event at which Caterpillar introduced their new D5 dozer, which you can, you can see our, our video of right up here in the card. Um, but uh, so they introduced that dozer and then they gave us a little bit more information on this new 306, which is Caterpillar's first six ton excavator. My colleague Tom Jackson had a chance to uh, speak with Greg Worley, who, uh, who gave us uh, a lot of great information in the first video that we did on this, this machine, which, you know, if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. But Greg uh, had a little bit more time at this event to talk a little bit about these features. And, and specifically, as Tom points out in this video, what we really kind of came away impressed with about this machine is its uh, stick steer capability, which means that you can, uh, you can stop using the levers in this excavator, the levers and pedals in this excavator. You can actually, with a, with a button press, start driving it like a skid steer. So Tom talks a little bit about that and why that makes this a unique machine. And uh, we also talk a little bit about the, uh, the display inside the cab. Now, one more thing before I throw it over to Tom, uh, a really cool aspect of this machine that we did not uh, discuss in our initial video on the 306CR is that in addition to the standard straight blade and the available power angle blade, Caterpillar's also going to offer this machine in an XTC configuration or a tool carrier configuration. So in this XTC configuration, you can equip the excavator with a clamshell bucket, and that would allow you to open the bucket up and, and doze as you normally would uh, with, with a straight blade, with a power angle blade. But then when you close it up, you can actually start loading material into that bucket and the bucket you know, lifts up and you can kind of carry stuff around as you see in this footage here. And it's with this XTC configuration that the stick steer uh, capability that, that Tom is about to get into, that's where that gets really interesting. So, so without further ado, let's throw it over to Tom and uh, Greg Worley of Caterpillar. Hey everybody, Tom Jackson here. I'm in Cary, North Carolina at Caterpillar's Building Construction Products uh, headquarters here. And we're with the new, uh, uh, a relatively new 306 next generation excavator. And I found this, this excavator to be really interesting for a number of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, they are calling this a stick steer excavator. Basically what, what that means is you can steer the machine with a joystick on your left hand rather than use foot pedals and levers up in top of the cab and, and that opens up a whole bunch of possibilities in terms of operating uh, efficiencies and things you couldn't do beforehand in an excavator when you had to use your your left hand to to steer it while you were in motion and the other real cool thing is they've left the the foot pedals and the levers in the machine uh, but these can be taken out there are basically four bolts here you unbolt that pick the thing out they've got a, a a different floor mat for you if you do that and pull the thing out and you've got a machine with a lot of foot room you can and you can do everything with the joystick control that uh, you could do with a, the traditional style of steering and and moving the machine forward and backwards a couple other real cool things I, I found about this machine they have they've gone to a squared off body style here and if if you remember they used to have curved bodies to give you visibility to the back of the machine well they've added a rear view camera for this that automatically clues into your your in cab monitor so you can always see what's behind uh, the excavator anytime so you don't need necessarily that rounded cowling in the back here and the other thing is this squared off style is just a lot more rugged and uh, uh, less uh, likely to suffer damage and uh, of course the the engine um, uh, opening here is squared off too so if 
if it does get hit, if it goes, does get damaged, it's a lot easier to repair than the, the traditional rounded style of, of excavator cabs. Another thing that uh, they're, they're adding here, you may have seen it before, but it's, it's, a, it's a fine feature is, is the, uh, the, the power angled um, blade on the, on the front of the machine. It's, uh, the, it's uh, along with the added functionality. Now you can do uh, a lot of grading with this machine that, uh, that you may not have been able to do before in traditional type of excavators. So if you're going to trailer this, uh, this machine, the, the tracks are about six and a half feet wide. It's a six ton machine. So you figure that out. That's about 12,000 pounds. Uh, so you, you probably will need a CDL to, to tow it or a, a truck with a CDL capability to tow it. Um, one thing Caterpillar told us was uh, the, the 306 is not a replacement for their 305.5 machine, but they do say it will give you 20% more performance, 11% a better fuel economy, and 10% overall a lower owning and operating costs. So one of the, this machine does a lot for uh, actually uh, less fuel, better performance, and it almost gives you a hybrid skid steer in the way this uh, the new stick steer travel works there's dozens of different applications you can accomplish with the new caterpillar stick steer on their their new uh, compact excavators and I brought in um, Greg Worley product application specialist with uh, with caterpillar to go all go through all the different things you can accomplish with this uh, this uh, excavator that you couldn't with other excavators so Greg you want to tell us about it sure so the 306 joint the next gen family basically if it's a cat next gen mini hydraulic excavator the stick steer and cruise control is a standard feature so the stick steer a lot more efficient for the operator he can sit back uh, operate the machine when he's traveling just like it is a skid steer he can put the blade in his right hand and on this particular 306 which is an angle blade machine your blade and your angle is in the right hand as well so it's a little bit like operating a small dozer so it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more efficient, a lot less stress on the operator. Now you can also put the linkage in the right hand, and with stick steer comes cruise control. That offers a whole new opportunity. So with stick steer and cruise control combined, you've got a creep type method or an Amex type method that you've got on the machines. So if you're going mowing and mulching in stick steer, continuous flow and cruise control, you can dial your speed in to a half a mile an hour, up to four miles an hour to match the material that you're cutting. And once again, you're there driving, steering the machine with your left hand, and in your right hand, when it's in linkage, boom up, stick in, stick out, and ordering the head of your mower or your mulcher on there as well. So, very much a game changer, different ways for people to use an excavator, going away from the traditional method of using levers or using your feet right up here in the hand, a lot more intuitive. Okay, with the next gen monitor, use the buttons along the bottom to navigate yourself around the monitor, or you can use the jog dial that's over on the left hand console. There I can select my radio, I can hit my home button and go back, uh, hit my AC, turn the fan up, turn the fan down, I can toggle up, change the temperature from cold to hot, all without even having to lean forward. I can sit back and relax in the seat as I'm doing it. One of the other features that are on this, as well as the, you know what you'd expect, your AC, your radio, we can actually go into the main menu, we can go into machine settings, and we can scroll down to control mode. And in control mode, you've got your normal things like pattern changer and stick steer modes, but an important feature is your implement speed. And come into implement speed, and I can go into slow, normal, or fast, and just change the speed of the linkage. So if I'm around delicate materials or gas pipes or utilities, or I'm handling delicate landscape materials, I can slow everything down. If I'm handling debris, storm cleanup, and I want to go as fast as possible, I can put everything into fast, and it changes the whole uh, machine or dynamics of the machine linkage. And if I want to get really precise, I can go into the advanced setting, and in the advanced setting, I can actually change the boom, the stick, the bucket, and the swing speeds across the machine. Now that's really dialing it in for those expert operators out there, but basically, we're giving the operator a massive amount of opportunity to dial these machines in and customize them just for themselves. Now another feature uh, on the next-gen machines is it is Bluetooth. 
So you can stream your music from your smartphone into all the speakers in the cab so you can listen to your country western or your rap music or whatever your genre happens to me to be but also uh, with Bluetooth you can sync your phone into it as well so you can run your business from the machine sealed and pressurized cab so it's nice and quiet because many of our customers are not just there digging with the machine they're running the business so they can take phone calls hands free keep on working and start setting up uh, their appointment for their next job that will wrap it up on this video on the 306 cr uh, let us know what you think in the comments of this machine uh, what, what do you think about uh, trailering um, we've had a couple of comments on the 306 cr where a couple of folks who appreciated the extra power that this machine has over the 305.5 while they appreciate that power, um, you know, definitely a six ton machine is going to be a little bit harder to trailer. Um, so there, there are some kind of downsides to, to this machine since it is larger and it is heavier. But, uh, you know, what else do you think about? What do you think of the stick steer, the cruise control, some of the uh, in cab uh, features of these next generation compact excavators that Caterpillar has on offer? Let us know what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching Equipment World. We appreciate your time. If you want more videos on construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks, be sure to subscribe and uh, check out one of these videos uh, around me for, for some more information on other machines. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.